Welcome, all you Super Dragon Ball fighters out there. I'm Deuce Disney coming at you with another episode review of Dr Super Dragon Ball Heroes. This time it's episode 10 titled Counter Attack, Fierce Attack, Goku and Vegeta. As we see the continued devastation that is raining down upon the 11th universe from Hearts and his group. Goku, in his Ultra Instinct Omen form, goes to confront Hearts and put an end to this whole situation. However, he's interrupted by Oren and Kami, who are a little PO'd about the fact that they got pushed out of the bodies they were inhabiting, specifically Oren being pushed out of Vegeta. Or was it Kami? I don't know, whatever. We also see Jiren continuing to do battle with Zamasu, and despite the fact that Jiren is probably a quite a bit more powerful than Zamasu, this is Fuse Zamasu after all, who has all the powers of a Saiyan as well as all the powers of an immortal being, and is, it manages to emerge unscathed from everything that Jiren can throw at him, which is an interesting conundrum. Ultimately, Jiren is way more powerful than Zamasu, but nothing that Jiren really does to him is actually enough to take him out. So it's just like, well, it, uh, you're at a bit of an impasse with this. You can't really do much at the, after this point, honestly. Speaking of which, Goku comp continues to completely school Oren and Kami, because they are just no match for him in his Ultra Instinct Omen form. So they decide to mute, to fuse into the powered up being of Kamioren, as they put it. And so they try to start going at it with Goku. Meanwhile, Hearts summons this being known at, that he calls Lagas. Or lags, lags, lags. I think it's lags. I'm gonna go with lags. Who he asked to assist him in taking down the super powerful Goku, who is all too happy to help in a combination attack with her raining down this massive crystal onto Goku as he is pinned in place by Hearts' gravity attack. So with these two abilities in place, it's obvious it's obvious Goku is struggling. So Trunks and Vegeta go in for the assist, but the fuse comes. Meorin, you know, blocks their path. We are ready to just continue throwing down and having a good time. And while Goku does actually manage to shatter legs, I don't know how to say that other than legs, uh, lags, um, crystalline structure, um, Hearts does note that um, Goku's Ultra Instinct is unperfected, and he is unable to maintain it after a sp certain period of time. And as Lags is revealed within the crystal structure, a character who I initially thought would be a Majin, you know, similar to Boo, but I'm not quite sure at this point what she is, honestly. As you know, her name is an anagram of glass, and she begins to just rain down all the crystals upon Goku. Goku is just like, Who the fuck you? She's like, I'm L Lags, <laughs> the chick with the weird name. You know, she has this very solemn appearance. Something about her is very interesting. Um, but she continues to just rain down all the crystal shards onto Goku until he's completely done. You know, Goku, that's the one thing that I actually enjoy about Goku trying to use Ultra Instinct in order to stop a fight is just because his body's not really ready for that kind of power yet. Oh, we still need to get Goku to a point where he can actually maintain his Ultra Instinct power and actually do some devastation with it. Although it raises the question, where does he go from there once he finally gets Ultra Instinct fully under control? 
Meanwhile, Vegeta not being too happy of being made a fool is all too ready to take on Kamiorin in his, you know, Super Saiyan Blue form. But he finds ultimately they're just completely evenly matched and honestly, he's a little bit outclassed by them. So, he decides to kick it up into his evolution form, and that's where our episode ends, with a really cool image at the very end here. Like, man, this is pretty awesome imagery right here. I love stuff like this. Wish I could see more of, like, this kind of style going on. You know, it's, instead of just having it for an end card. But... That's it. Honestly, not that much to this episode, all things considered. You know, you had some fun fights, you got to see a little bit more of Ultra Instinct Omen, which is about where Goku can actually be at without him, his body just starting to hemorrhage blood after a certain point. So, but at the at the end it still leaves him drained after he uses it and in a fight that's not really in, in a fight to the death that's not really what you want to pull out when you're trying to get things underway although i am very delighted to see uh, vegeta's evolution form come into play this situation also has me wondering if we might end up seeing Trunks' kind of um, godly infused Super Saiyan form, you know, come into play. You know, somehow he's able to tap into that power because honestly, that's the one downside of Trunks' involvement in a lot of this. He just keeps getting to be the punching bag or, bag or standing on the sidelines. And it almost makes you think like, well, what's the point of even bringing Trunks into this if he's got nothing to bring to the table at the end of the day? So I'm really hoping Trunks manages to show off what he's got somewhere further down the line. I mean, this is fan service the anime, why not? Um, but hey, tell me your thoughts in the comment section below. How did you feel about seeing Ultra Instinct Omen? What do you think about the artificial Tuffle Speed form? Which, honestly, is... You haven't really seen it do anything interesting. It's like a power buff for the most part. But, um, Lags, or whatever her name is, she seems to be fascinating, at least. She at least has an interesting gimmick going on with the whole glass shard that's raining down. But, you know, ultimately Goku had to, you know, use up the last of what he had in the tank to actually keep, even hold her off, so we'll have to see where it goes from here on out. And Jiren, you know, the showdown between Jiren and Zamasu is just obviously not going anywhere as it's just going back and forth and back and forth. Well, tell me your thoughts on what you think will happen next. If you like this video, feel free to leave me a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave me a dislike and tell me what I did wrong in the comment section below so I might better myself for future videos. And hey, how about subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you never miss another episode review of Super Dragon Ball Heroes. But until then, remember to take it to the next evolution. Bye bye